Jojo has fun. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Jojo has fun. We're still in the Tower of Peace in uh, South Park, and we are going. But Woody Harrelson's gotten a lot older too. Oh yeah. Probably equally, he probably aged just as much as Ted Danson oh, since probably, that show. You're probably absolutely like right. Like 100% equal aging. Because that's have, how time works. It, yes. Oh, like he's aged faster somehow. I have grown increasingly uninterested in uh, like shows by and about comedians. Yeah, they're usually pretty painful, but I have high hopes for this one because I really like him. Still talking about uh, Kumail Nanjiani's yeah. movie, um, The Big Sick. The Big Sick. Yeah. And, but I was really sad. I thought in Sacramento, I thought Sacramento was like a big enough town that they would have it somewhere, and they don't. Not even the Crest? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let me just Weird. look it up. Because I, like, I Googled like, are, are where the tower? Uh, Let me see. Maybe I have to be more specific. I will take out these Mongolians. Yeah, you work on that while I work on this other very wow, important Wow, they're thing. strong. And they are on fire. Wow, I just fucking wrecked their stees. Why do they have horses on the roof? Uh, Kim, is this South Park? Yes. Okay, well, there you go. Now you know. All right. <laughs> we good? <laughs> uh, now playing a bunch of shit nobody's ever heard of at the tower. <laughs> oh, they've got Paris Can Wait, though. What's Paris Can Wait? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the oh yeah, so the big sick is coming, but it doesn't say. It doesn't say when. Let's see, it's not there right now. But like, I hate it because on Twitter, everybody's like, "Oh my god, it's so good!" And they're all like jerking each other off, and like, I want to go see. And it's directed by Michael Showalter, who I've got like a like a medium sized lady boner for. Okay. It just says coming soon. It doesn't even say when. Fuck you. Now look at the crest. Or that weird theater in Davis. This is the exciting. Varsity, yeah. This is exciting let's play stuff because we're trying to find a movie to watch. Yeah. You know? It's just this is part of the part of the jam. Also, who gives a shit what we're doing? I'm destroying these Mongolians. Yeah, oh, you're shit. doing a great job. Oh, oh my god. god! What just happened? Oh man. Well, that was uh oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Down. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh. We're, oh going, no. we're going down, oh, down. No. Yep. Yeah, that's swinging. exactly what's happening. It is. I gotta kill this guy. Oh no, I can just run. Oh god. What? I just ran past some guys. What? They were like you already killed them. Well, those ones weren't. Austin those ones were ready looks. to fight me. Nice. They were ready to throw down. You know, just throw, just throw them down. Oh shit. And oh, goddammit. Kaboom. And back to the guy. Gives me the jam. We already heard that about the looks thing. Okay. There you go, kid. All this shitty but Bruno Mars is coming to, coming to town. Really? I love Bruno Mars. Oh, man. No, oh, the boom. crest is playing the big fucking Lebowski. Well, that movie... It has a word big in it. I love that movie. It's it's only gotten more relevant with time. I <laughs> I watched that movie. I watched like a very small amount of that movie, um, and I had thought that I'd seen the whole thing. Yeah. When I was like in high school. Right. And then finally, I watched the whole movie like a year ago or two years ago, and I wanted to talk to everybody about it, and nobody gave a shit. They were like, either people had heard of it. And they what? were like, that movie's like 15 years old. Get away from me. Have you talked about it yet? I've tried. Yeah, I wanted to talk to people about it. But now, like, I'm kind of over it. Okay. Because I was going to say, like, if you want, we can we, talk we about it. We can talk about it. Like, I'm, I love that movie. I think it's so good. It's, it well, was, you know how I feel about John Goodman. He's great. He's Steve a, he's Buscemi. A yeah, a gift. Great person. Very funny. I just... It's just such a good... It's... I don't even know. Is it? Does it count as, like, a cult movie? Yeah. Hey, I... Like, was yeah, it, it is. But it wasn't particularly popular when it came out? No. Well, I mean, like, the the Coen brothers have gone on to make other things. Yeah. And I, I honestly think, like... like Coen brothers do a good job. Fargo, I would say, is is better. It just yeah. has, like, a movie. or um. I'm really pissed at Fargo. Really? Because I've been watching the TV show... 
And yeah. now we don't have the TV show. Is it done? Or no, no, no. It's like third that. season. But we like pay to like get it. We pay for like rather than getting cable. Right. We pay for like per channel. Yeah. And we have the channel. We pay for the channel that it's on and it won't let us stream it. That sucks. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't know. But what? like it's been I missed the whole season. The first season's great. Second season's great. Speaking of uh, Ted Danson, he's in it. Yeah. He's great. Of course. That was actually the uh, show that I saw him and thought that they were making him look way old. Oh. <laughs> it all comes full circle. Yeah. Yeah, like, so Fargo is a good movie. Yeah. Um, it's a, a great movie. Se- a Serious Man, I did not like. I don't think I saw that one. It was about, it was like, um, it was a big, like, I think the point of it was to be like a big Jewish parable. Where it's a big oh. story that doesn't go anywhere, but you, it makes you think, you know? Okay. Yeah, but I, like I was just stuff. like, this is a bad movie. Did you see, was Barton Fink a Coen Brothers movie? Who's Afraid of Barton Fink? No, it's not Who's Afraid of Barton Fink. It was just called Barton Fink. Uh, I want to say yes. Seems like a Coen. Yeah, yeah, okay. But um, I'm, getting a, I'm getting a positive from the crowd. Good, good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trying to think like, Another oh, um, Burn After Reading. That was a good one. I didn't see that one. Oh, it was really but good. But I wanted to see it. and I, bet I I think they do better at comedies than they do at, at serious movies. Yeah. And uh, like everyone praises No Country for Old Men. That movie I barely could get through. I, was like, I liked is, it. Yeah, but it was just like, oh, my God, jack off a little more. Yeah. yeah. that's Well, that's the same thing Wes Anderson's doing now. But Oh, I would, my God. Don't I even would, get me started on a Wes Anderson see, jerk is, like, fest. I would watch Wes Anderson jerk off all day. Like It doesn't <laughs> bother me, even though I know that that's what's happening. It's like it's like you have like a bingo sheet. And like every time he does something, you get to like check it off, and you're like, like, "Yeah, he did the thing." Hold hold on, hold on. Is everything in this movie slightly orange? (laughs) I get a B. Yeah. Is every is there a chick in this movie who's very sad and no one gets her? (laughs) Ha! Another B. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is that Jason Schwartzman doing something stupid? (laughs) Ha ha! Another B for me. A lot of Bs. Yeah. A lot of Bs in this bingo board. It's it's. The thing about Wes Anderson movies is like he's jacking off, but then everyone watching it is jacking off too. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a big old group jack off, and, I, I, and I, I cannot wait for his next movie. Oh my god! It's like when you watch a Wes Anderson movie, there's some part of you that's like, I'm a good person for watching this. Yeah. <laughs> like I am. I'm, I'm ex- smart. Like I'm extremely white, and Wes Anderson movies make me feel like I'm like not. There are people whiter than me. Oh like that's what it makes god. me realize. Like somewhere out there there is a person who is even whiter than I am. Holly really loves Wes Anderson movies. Uh, I think just because she likes... all of them. I think just because she likes Bill Murray, oh, I love which Bill I Murray. respect, because yeah. he's a fucking brilliant actor. But... Uh, have I told you my Bill Murray story? You have not told me a Bill Murray story. Uh, so how do you... I don't know. Kim. <laughs> I know. How have we been friends for, at this point, like four years, yeah. and I don't know your Bill Murray story? So Go on. My mom uh, has rich friends. Okay. Because she works a nonprofit and rich people like to give money to non nonprofits so they feel good about making everybody else super poor. Right. Kim. Um so she has Socialism. lots of yeah, got it. She has lots of rich friends and she had a friend flying first class. This is that's why I had to introduce her as rich, because you're like thinking, Why Kim, how do you know someone who flies first class? Yeah. Um and there was this guy next to her <laughs> who like would not stop talking to her throughout the flight. And he was just like it was one of those things, you know, like when a guy is talking to you and you just like look straight ahead. And you're just like, this is going to be fine. Yeah. And like, but when you're on a plane, it's unavoidable. Yeah, you have to. And you have to like, and so like, she can just see him out of the corner of her eye. She's trying really hard. She's got her headphones in. She's got her sunglasses on. He will not stop like, like just poking fun at certain things and like pointing certain things out. And he's, you know, just being just really obnoxious. And and she can just see out of the side of her. He is just like this, like. She just imagined this like lecherous man and yeah. he just like won't stop talking to her. And finally the flight ends. Next time finding me won't be so easy. Oh my god. I gotta find Jesus. You found Jesus. Hmm. Um and so at the, the end of the flight, you know, she stands up and he's like, Oh, it's been really nice talking to you and everything. And it's Bill Burry. 
No fucking way. Yeah, it was Bill Murray that she was like for two hours was just like, oh my god, I can't believe this guy because she wouldn't, she didn't look at him because you don't look at somebody when he's act when somebody's acting like that. But when it's Bill Murray, he's just like, I'm just gonna be funny and say funny things the whole flight. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Did she feel bad? I would. She felt so bad. I would have taken advantage of just like hanging out and talking with Bill Murray. Yeah, he's a nice guy. But she didn't look at him in the face, so she had no idea it was Bill. Murray until oh, she stood man. up to get her things. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. The moral of the story is sometimes you think a guy is just a homeless, lecherous, rich man. But sometimes, sometimes it's, it's Bill, Bill Murray. Murray. Yeah. That's the lesson here. I've heard a story about Bill Murray, and I think I've said this to you before, but it's like, um, so there's a story, guy in an airport, sits down. So Bill Murray just hangs out in airports all the time. He's a traveler. <laughs> yeah. Go on. So he, he sits down. Well done, my son. Oh, uh, let's, let's hear this real quick. Remember, I will always be at the side of those who have found me. Nice. You can call me once per day with this, but I can't help against bosses. They're scary. Come find me again for another. Yep. We unlocked two of the summons. That's important. So Bill Mur- so he's sitting down. He's at the air- an airport like restaurant. Yeah. And he orders a sandwich. And he's sitting down like where you can be kind of in the terminal. Mm-hmm. And a guy walks up and just picks up the sandwich and takes like a huge bite out of it. And the dude looks up, and it's Bill Murray. And he's like, oh, my God, you're Bill Murray. And Bill Murray says, no one is ever going to believe you. And then puts the sandwich down, and then just walks away. Oh, Bill Murray. Yeah. That is a fucking amazing story. I, I deeply, sincerely hope it is true. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we'll save this girl on the next episode. Beat of those JoJo girls. Has fun. Mean girls. Mean girls. Mean girls. Mean girls too. The mean girliest. Oh, I love that movie. Let's go do this. All right, we're gonna do like one more. I think we'll do two more, and then we'll, we'll get producer Danielle in the mix. And then.